good afternoon. Uh, thank you for the introduction and for the opportunity to uh, give this presentation at this conference called Revolution. Uh, coincidentally, on the exact day when uh, we are uh, uh, celebrating the 33rd anniversary of the beginning of the uh, Romanian revolution against the communist uh, regime, which, uh, which actually uh, took place in, the, in my hometown of, of, of Timisoara. So uh, this is the second time that I'm at a conference here in Edinburgh. The first time was uh, five years ago at the Rural Settlement uh, Conference, which was also uh, organized by Professor uh, Manuel fernandez Gertz. And on that occasion, uh, a colleague from uh, France named Luc Bernard, uh, he approached me and told me that uh, it was a good thing that I participated at, at that conference because not a lot uh, of things are known about uh, our region in the late Iron Age, for, for what's going on in this region in the late Iron Age. And to be honest, uh, until recently, even we didn't know much about what was going on in the, in the late Iron Age in the Banat settlement, mainly due to the scarce uh, uh, archaeological evidence that existed until uh, recent, recent times. So all of these uh, have changed in the last uh, in the last year with the emergence of large infrastructure works that uh, resulted in large-scale rescue excavations which uh, today allow allow us to uh, to sketch out some of the uh, of the some preliminary ideas of how the social uh, and cultural realities uh, about the social and cultural realities of the uh, early and middle latin period uh, uh, Evolved in the in the in the Banat region. That's why I call this uh, uh, presentation an attempt at understanding the aftermath of the Celtic colonization in the Banat region because uh, the data are not sufficient enough to draw uh, uh, any any radical uh, ra radical ideas. First of all, to understand uh, where we are, where this region is, the Banat region is. Uh, at the outskirts of the Carpathian Basin, uh, it's um, in, encompassed today in the modern in the modern day boundaries of Romania, Hungary, uh, Romania, Serbia, and to a lesser extent uh, uh, Hungary. It is at the crossroad uh, crossroad of several cu important cultural milieus like the North Pontic Steppe region, the Central European uh, with the Carpathian Basin, and the North Balkan cultural area. Uh, it is, uh, and of course, the geography uh, plays an important, uh, an important role in the cultural development of uh, any area. In particular, for this area, uh, the most in ge important geographical factor was the was uh, the water, main, namely the streams that uh, crossed across this uh, this region. Because to the north, uh, this region is bordered by the Mureș River, which connects it to the to the Inner Carpathian area. To the west, it's uh, bordered by the Tisa River, which connects it to the to the Northern Carpathian area, and to the south, it's bordered by the Danube River, uh, which connects it to the Central Europe and the uh, Mediterranean, uh, the Black Sea uh, Black Sea area. Most importantly, these rivers shape also the the landscape uh, of this. Uh, of this region, uh, not just uh, creating a, a also a, a fertile land for cultural interactions, but also uh, with its alluvial deposition, creating numerous hillocks and terraces that were suitable for for habitation through, throughout times. But it also created lots of marshlands because it's a lowland area and created lots of marshlands and constant flooding, which led to, the, to constant. Uh, cycles of repopulation and depopulation of the area according to uh, depending on the climatic situation of the of uh, that certain period in fact uh, for this area we have a stable uh, uh, habitation with several layers of habitation in one settlement or several settlements only in the late neolithic period where we have a cluster of uh, numerous tell settlements with uh, complex stratigraphy and uh, that span over several hundreds of years. After that, in general, settlements are uh, limited to just one layer of habitation. So even in cases where we have like a hillock that has been inhabited for uh, several uh, historical periods, the habitation is only uh, uh, of short time, a 
period. So there are only uh, uh, short time habitation. So that's why in, in some historical period, uh, this, uh, this land has been deemed as uh, unsuitable for, for habitation. And one historical period for more recent time is, the, is the, after the Austrian conquest conquest of the Banat region, where the Austrian encountered a uh, uh, partly uh, deserted area for which the Emperor Charles VI claimed that it was a shame to send a decent person to, to live there. So the, uh, the, out, uh, the aftermath of this conquest resulted in the uh, new settlement uh, of different uh, people of different ethnic backgrounds that resulted in a in a quite uh, uh, colorful cultural uh, environment in the Banat region, which again was transformed uh, to the inclusion of the of the of this region into the Romanian uh, state, with the displacement of Romanian population into this uh, area at the cost of the other ethnic uh, ethnic ethnic uh, groups. So this shows us just for these last few centuries that the how how often this uh, some sort of uh, banat identity has been sh reshaped remodeled and renegotiated uh, only in recent times uh, partly due to some administrative decision but partly also due to the uh, natural envir environment of this place so looking back further into the past, into time period where we don't uh, have that many historical information, just judging by the archaeological record, we can see several other uh, uh, time periods in which some sort of uh, this kind of revolution where drastic cultural changes and demographic, uh, uh, demographic uh, uh, changes also took place. And one of these uh, time periods is the so-called uh, Celtic horizon from the from the Carpathian uh, basin, which uh, corresponds to the historical uh, migration of the Celtic population and the spread of the of the Latin culture. Uh, for this uh, for this event, we have uh, 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 several sources. Of course, we have the historical uh, sources that point in indirectly towards uh, expansion to the to the east there are several sources but one of the most important and relevant for this topic is the uh, alexander the great expedition towards uh, against in the balkans against the tribali and uh, his crossing of the danube no, his crossing north of the danube against the the thracian population there and several authors have re reconstructed his route uh, towards the northern balkans and uh, place these e events in the vicinity of the Banat region. So why is this important? Because during his expedition, uh, Alexander receives an envoy from this, uh, from the from Scythian and Celtic uh, uh, population, which were public, probably already uh, living in in this area at the end of the of the fourth century BC. Of course, in the after uh, in the next uh, subsequent. Uh, Period we have also the historical Celtic invasions of, of the Balkans, which also could have had a starting point uh, from uh, from this from this area. From an archaeological uh, perspective, uh, may, uh, uh, of course, the topic of the Celtic uh, migration has been de debated from several perspectives. So also from a bioarchaeological perspective, but also mainly through the analysis of the material culture. And for the Eastern Carpathian basis, we don't have any uh, bioarchaeological uh, analysis yet. But judging by the uh, evolution of the cemeteries from the early and middle Latin period, we can see a gradual advancement of, uh, uh, of uh, communities, starting with the uh, from Latin A in the Western Carpathian Basin, and towards the end of the fourth century uh, BC, we see already the first uh, cemeteries starting uh, taking uh, starting to be in use in the in the eastern part of the Carpathian Basin with a with a larger uh, number and increasing all over the Carpathian Basin in the aftermath in the aftermath of the 
so-called in, uh, of the invasion in the Balkans by the Celtic uh, tribes. So even though we we don't have uh, bio archaeological evidence, oh, okay. So now that we have seen some evidence for the eastern uh, for the eastern movement of this population, what was the cultural context uh, at the end of the early Iron Age in the Banat region? So we have. Uh, uh, hierarchical so society uh, we, uh, ruled by an elite which expressed its identity through the use of uh, uh, north, northern, no, northwestern Balkan uh, fashion, like uh, the Greek Illyrian helmets, like uh, living in uh, fortified uh, hilltops, uh, bur uh, tumulus burials, and also uh, the adjacent rural settlements in which the predominant architectural uh, 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 style or uh, the most frequent house was the deep sunken dwelling house, which often uh, ranged from 1.5 meters to 1.8 uh, meters. So this type of house was found in uh, most of the uh, settlements, rural settlements excavated in the in the in the lowlands of the Banat region. Uh, starting with the uh, Celtic horizon, we see the from the 4th century BC, we see the disappearance of the hilltop settlements, a different kind of elite uh, emergence, uh, emerges, and a different type of organization of the settlements. So we have some large scale excavations of, of rural settlements, which are predominantly, I mean, exhaust only rural settlements in this, uh, from this uh, period, which show uh, uh, a type of uh, a circle like or, uh, organization of the dwellings with an empty space in, in the area between them, probably for uh, communal uh, or, or practices uh, which are similar to some other settlements from the Trans Danubian region in this period. And uh, also, from an architectural point of view, we said the disappearance of those uh, uh, deep sunken dwellings like I, that I spoke about earlier and the appearance of. Uh, shallow sunken dwellings with uh, two post holes on the on the narrower side, which are typical of the of the Latin period in the entire uh, Carpathian basin. Also, uh, the bio, uh, uh, the archaeological evidence from these settlements and the uh, uh, paleobotanical evidence also suggest similar subsistence strategies to the communities to the Latin communities from the uh, from the uh, Western uh, Car Carpathian Basin. So, unlike uh, other other regions where the most of the information comes from the burial uh, uh, record, in this case we only have a few, uh, a few cemeteries and small small scale cemeteries excavated, uh, in which we find uh, find an interesting aspect uh, and uh, sort of hybridization of. Uh, of culture in which we have the predominant burial rite is in uh, is cremation, especially in urn cremation, which is typical for the for the indigenous population. But the uh, newly uh, warrior elite chooses to express its identity using uh, uh, symbols and uh, we we weapons specific of the of the of the Latin uh, culture. However, when it comes to uh, female uh, to woman co costume. We see another interesting uh, mixture between the la latent uh, type of uh, tech, uh, tech craftsmanship and the local uh, sy symbolism and, and, and ideology. And we see this in the so-called uh, zoomorphic ring brooches, uh, which are spread in the entire Carpathian Basin at the end of the fourth, uh, fourth century. Uh, so this, uh, this type of uh, garments, uh, Illustrate, like I said, the the, the typical Latin uh, uh, craftsmanship, uh, but uh, so they are usually found in in female burials, and uh, they respect a strict way of of wearing, uh, with the the cladded person being flanked by the two animals in a master of uh, animals, uh, in a sort of master of mistress of animals pose, and this is interesting because in in the uh, Central European Celtic art, this, mas this master, this p central person is usually of um, uh, male. And in the eastern part of the Thracian or Greek or Scythian art, it's uh, often uh, a female, like we see in this case. So the technique is 
typical to the Latin, to Latin culture, but the uh, symbolism and iconography behind this is typical of the uh, Carpathian Basin indigenous uh, population. Another uh, uh, type of artifact that suggests this uh, mixture of lo local and newcomers is, of course, the uh, ceramic uh, category. And we we see the in the cemeteries in the grave in the burials we see a predominance of uh, the new wheel thrown uh, Latin pottery, which was introduced with the uh, arrival of the of the Celts, and to a lesser extent the indigenous. Uh, handmade pottery, while in the settlement uh, record we see uh, an equal ratio between the uh, typical Latin uh, pottery and the uh, indigenous uh, handmade pottery. But this uh, ratio varies from uh, uh, one settlement to another, pointing to different cultural, uh, different uh, culinary uh, practices. So in conclusion, we see that this uh, so called Celtic colonization of the Banat region coincides with um, some other major changes in social, uh, in the social and cultural organization of the communities here. We see the disruption of these hierarchic, hierarchical uh, uh, societies and the appearance of some more heterarchical societies. And unlike, we, unlike the, uh, the information we get from the historical sources of a uh, mass migration or a uh, violent invasion, we see that this process was rather a gradual movement of small group of uh, population that interacted with the population that uh, they encountered uh, uh, around, uh, around, along the way. So the last uh, question is what happens to these, uh, to what happened to these communities? Well, uh, the, to the Celts. Uh, well, the Romanian historiography has uh, two uh, two hypotheses. One that they were assimilated in the newly formed Dacian uh, ethnos, and the other that they were expelled by the conquest made by uh, by Burabista. For this particular region, it's interesting that we have almost no uh, no uh, settlement belonging to the late Latin period. So this shows that perhaps the disappearance of of these communities is related to rather. Uh, an, an unsuitable, these lands becoming unsuitable for ha habitation during this period. And this is also uh, supported by the fact that in the uh, subsequent period afterwards, mainly in the uh, first millennium AD, we have another uh, demographic explosion from the so-called Sarmatian period with numerous uh, settlements and uh, funerary finds. So, thank you.